Hello, second graders. Welcome to a new social study lesson. Please get exploring who we are book and let's get started. We still in chapter one today and long ago and today's lesson number three. How has daily life changed over time? All right, open your book, page 22. What are we gonna learn for this lesson? We're gonna understand how daily life has changed over time. And then we're gonna find the difference between daily lives of people in the past and in the present. So in this lesson, you can see in this picture, for example, in school, look at the desks in long ago. I can tell that this is something happened long ago because nowadays we have different tables, different chairs and colorful and even not attached like that. Also schools, if you look at the building, in 1800, some children went to school like this one. So it was just a small building. All right. Let's go for the next page. All right. School change. You go to school today. One of these pictures shows a school from a present. The present is today or the time we are living in. Your parents, grandparents, and their parents went to school, but they went to school in a time before now, which is in the past. Something about schools are the same. There are still teachers in the present, and there were teachers in the past. Other things about schools are different. As you see for this picture, long ago, all of the students in the school studied in the same room. As you see, children, different age group, are diff and different grades are in the same room. Today, each class has its own room. So this is a picture of a new school. Look also at the furniture, look at the technology that they have. All what they had was blackboard or green board that they used chalk to write on it and probably only white color, they didn't have even colors. But now, as we see, People use different boards, using computer, and also using projectors. This is the classroom today. The classroom looks different from the classroom in the past. In the past, some students came to school early to help the teacher build a fire in the stove to keep the classroom warm. But in the present, students may come early to work on computer because everyone have a heater or air condition. So if the weather's hot, uh, the air condition will be cooling the classroom. And if it's cold, there will be a heater keeping the classroom warm. But as we say in old days, children used to come early just to um, help the teacher to fire, uh, put fires and wood to make the classroom warm and children would be, uh, can sit and learn. So if we look at the two photograph over here, inspect. Look at the two photographs and read words. What do you think you will be learning about? Now, just reading the title schools chains, that means I'm talking about difference and comparing schools when what changes happen. So things that happened long ago and things that happen nowadays. Circle the word that you don't know. So a new word, for example, that you learn present. So you can circle it and say, I know the present is today or time we are living in. Or past. Past is something that happened long ago or just happened in the past. Could be even yesterday. Underlying clues that tell you which classroom is from a school today. Of course, looking here, I can tell that this is a picture of a classroom that's nowadays. How are the two schools are different and how are the two schools alike? They're both alike that they have teachers and students, but different when I see there were, in the old days there were um, one room with different grades, but here each grade have their own classroom, right? Let's turn the page. Okay, so 
we're gonna compare and contrast. We're gonna compare things that happened long ago and <clears throat> things that we see it nowadays. So we're gonna go back to the pictures. We're gonna read the captions under the pictures. We're gonna read the comments they put, and then we'll be able to answer these questions. All right. Based on what you learn about schools, work with your class to complete this chart. Then and now, school, alike and different. So then and now we're talking about schools. We're gonna see what they're like and what's the difference. So we said alike that both old schools or long ago schools and now have teachers and students, and both have place for students to sit and learn, as we see in a picture. We see the teachers, we see the students sitting on special benches, and here we see the teachers, and we see also children using different tables and different chairs. So alike, they both have teachers, they both have students, and students have place to sit. All right, what's the difference for then and now? Then, which is the past, the school from the past had desks and it didn't have computer as we see in the old picture here. And they were in rows. Here we can see their tables in the background here. In the back of the picture, there's tables and children probably in a circle on the floor. But over here, they're sitting on um, in rows. Also, now we can say that the school today has tables, computer, has projector as well. Okay. Over here, we're going to listen to some reading and we're going to use the information we're going to read about to complete that chart. So, what we have, we're comparing then and now. We're gonna see homes, toys and games, work and communities. We're gonna see alike and we're gonna see different. All right. All right. How has daily life changed over time? Homes change. People have lived in homes for a long time. The way homes look in the United States has changed over time. Today, you might see top apartment buildings, homes on wheels, or houses in neighborhoods. How is your home different from the home in a picture? Look at the homes long ago. This family lived in this home in Nebraska in 1886. The cow could eat grass on the roof. So as you see the picture, so we can see everything is different. Transportation was horses and carriage, people wearing different clothes. All right, let's go next page. The inside of homes has also changed. Long ago, people had to build a fire in their stove to cook food. Early refrigerators were wooden boxes with ice inside to keep the food cold. Today, stoves and ovens comes on when the press of button or turn on up and up. Refrigerator use electricity. Some refrigerators have computer screens on the outside. Things have changed. So look at the kitchen in that bigger picture and look in a small picture. All right, homes to order. Did you know between 1908 and 1940, people could order a house from a catalog? All of the materials to build the house arrived in the mail. Families put the pieces together to make their home. Fun and games. Children throughout history have loved to play. Some toys and games have changed. Some are the same. You might play board game or sports that your parents play. You might play video games that are very different. Playing helps us learn and grow. As you see here, this picture on the top, children pushed a hoop with a stick and ran along with it, trying not to let the hoop fall. This picture, 
This is a bike from 1819 and a mountain bike from today. So look at that today bike and look at the old bike. All right, day in the life, hard work. Remember, we say we're covering about homes, toys and games, and what kind of chores children did in also communities. So now, hard work. About 100 years ago, many families were busy doing chores. Some families had to pump water to wash their dishes and take a bath. They washed their clothes in a large bucket and had to burn firewood or coal to make heat. Children were expected to help clean and to take care of younger children. And as you see in the picture, family member carried heavily pails of filled with water as we see. Look at that machine or the laundry with a washboard that like what we have now, the washing machine, but in old days, it was like a washing board like that and that's how we use it. Nowadays, let's see what children can do. Many children today do chores too. Do you, do you do chores around your home? You might be vacuuming or cleaning up your room, washing the dishes or emptying the dishwashers, or even help mom or dad to write your shopping list. It shows respect for your home and family. Indoor pipes and faucets make washing easier. Look in the old days when they have to fill special pocket to wash or take a bath or to do laundry. And now just open the faucet. You can wash a dish if you want to hand wash them or you can put them in a dishwasher. You see this girl over here, she's helping her mom uh, doing the laundry and it's just simple work. Doesn't need this machine or this washboard like all the day. So filling and emptying the washing machine is much easier than just washing clothes in a bucket or filling uh, a bucket of water to use. Communities changed. So we saw that changes in the school. We show, we, uh, we also show um, hard working, how chores and, um, for children was different. We also learned and saw how homes were different and uh, from in, inside and outside. Now let's see communities. Communities change over time. Some grow bigger as people move in, new homes and business are built. Some communities get smaller as people move away. Sometimes communities change for big reasons. Factories open or close. Wars or natural disaster force people to move away. Communities change in small ways too. Children are born and grow up. New business open and other close. Stores sell new products. Local libraries often keep records of changes in the communities. They keep old newspaper, photographs, and also maps. For example, as we see picture from old days in Illinois, and we see once a huge city in um, 11, um, 1100, many people lived there. There were neighborhoods and plazas. Over time, people moved away, but months they built are still there. So this picture shows something happened long ago. Over here, then, and now. St. Louis, Missouri. The picture shows St. Louis long ago and today. Compare the two pictures. What changes do you see in these pictures? How do you think life in this community has changed over time? So long ago, not many people, not big buildings. And of course, the city was small. Now I can tell that more people moved and living um, in a city and the city became a big city. Okay, let's go back to our book and we'll see page 27. So what we need to do, we need to answer this question, comparing homes, 
in how they like, how they're different, toys and games, work and uh, communities. So over here, what we're gonna see, we're gonna see the homes. Remember, you go back. So as you see here, homes, they have now different, the same, they have windows and door. So this is something that they're like, but different that, for example, kitchen, as you see in door here, the kitchen is big and have all the equipments, all the appliances that we use it. But before they had just a manual thing that they have to do things by themselves. Toys and games, go back to the video and see the children used to play with the hoop and a stick. And nowadays children play video games, but they're like that they're both had fun and plays. Children long ago and children now, they have their way to find a game to have fun and enjoy. Work, everyone helps. Long ago, children have chores and nowadays children have chores. But the difference is people now, children now when they do chores, they do something simple like empty the dishwasher or vacuuming. But in old days, children used to pump water or wash clothes using pocket or use fire uh, uh, use wood to fire, uh, to have a fire so they can warm water or, or uh, uh, parents to cook. So they used to go and collect wood for this. So I like that long ago children and nowadays children still have chores to do. Communities, people live and work together now, long ago and now. When both um, the changes happening that different stores were open and different stores closed, but communities, people work together to build their community. All right, let's go to the next page. All right, page 28 and 29. All right, review your research. So we can go back, watch the video one more time, see the difference between um, work, children did work, different between toys and games, different between how school look like, different between homes, and um, answer these questions. So for example, the question, this is the, uh, one of the words that we cover in the beginning, what is past? What is the past? Past is a time that's happened before, something that happened before now. So that's the past. The past is time that before now. All right. Write and cite evidence. Choose one part of daily life and tell how, how it has changed from past. Use facts from the text to explain. So over here we can choose anything you like. So you can go back and see how daily life long ago. So you can go and choose, for example, hard work, or you can choose about school or about a game, about anything that long ago and how it's different now. All right, page 29. Write a letter to someone from long ago about your daily life. Based on what you have read, give at least one example to show that your daily life is different from his or hers. So let's pretend you're writing something or a letter to a friend that this friend lived 50 or 60 years ago. So you can explain, for example, how you help uh, at home, what, such, what kind of chores you do at home. So you might be saying that um, I help mom um, to um, empty the dishwasher or we have a, a computerized fridge that will let us know um, when things are empty, like, or what, uh, what items it's, uh, it's missing and we need to buy it. But long ago, people didn't even have a fridge. There was just a wooden box with ice to keep the food for just a few hours fresh. Also, you can talk about um, a dishwasher that you just with the pushing button 
you can put the dishwasher in half an hour dishes will be washed but all days it was different you can also uh, talk about games mm, you can have a bike colorful bike you can decorate your bike and you wear a helmet or you have um, a computer games that you can have fun with sounds and you play. But all days you can show uh, that, for example, the example we have for games, and they have a hoop and a stake and they just try to ch chase it and make sure that it, uh, it will stay running. Okay, so be creative, take your time. You always go back to the video, watch the video one more time, choose the example you would like to talk about, pause your videos and put the information. Okay, second graders, that's it for today's lessons. So today we uh, learned and um, talked about uh, things that how has daily life changed over time and how this affect children, schools or chores at home or even communities, and how they uh, change uh, homes from inside or outside. All right, that's it for today. Thank you.